Hey, God bless you and good day. We want to encourage you to hang here with us for just a few moments and give us an opportunity to bring a couple verses. And uh, once again, just as a reminder, daily reminder, we want to bring something that uh, you can take with you through the day. Hopefully it'll be an encouragement. Hopefully it'll be just a, a gold nugget for you. Jesus said this in John chapter 8 and verse 31 and verse 32. If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. And you will know the truth, verse 32, and the truth will make you free. Once again, if you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. Indeed, a couple verses just to back that up in Joshua 1 and verse 8. Uh, the Lord says to Joshua, this, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. You shall meditate on it in it day and night, that you might know the right way to go, that you might be prosperous, that you might be successful. David writing in Psalms 1 verses 1 through 3, the Bible says this, Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, nor stands in the way of the sinner, but his delight shall be upon the law of the Lord, the word of God. And upon the word of God, day and night, he will meditate. He will be like, verse 3, a tree planted by the rivers, his leaf coming in season, bearing fruit, being prosperous in everything that uh, he sets his hand to do. We are encouraged through the scripture to allow the scripture to be a, to be a part, a main part, a major part of our life. Satan came to Jesus in Matthew chapter, uh, Matthew chapter 4 and verse 3, and he says, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Jesus looks at him in verse 4 and says, It is also written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. As we continue in the word, and listen, when you look at the word continue in the Greek language, and you just break it down, it means to abide, it means to remain, it means to dwell, it means to, and this, I love this, it means to stay in that place with a sense of expectation. He will speak. He will speak to you as we just stay there. We want to encourage you again in Job chapter 23 and verse 12. Job says, Neither have I turned back from the commandment of his lips. I have esteemed his word more than my necessary food. One more, Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 16. Thy words were found and I did eat them and they were unto me the joy and the rejoicing of my heart. Jesus said, if you continue in the word, then you're my disciples indeed. And then as you continue in the word, you'll know the truth and the truth will make you free. Just as we finish, let me just say this. The truth in itself, in and of itself, does not make us free. It's the truth that we know. The truth is that Jesus Christ gave his life for sinners. His blood was spilled and shed for all mankind. That's the truth. Why then is not everybody saved? It's because not everybody knows that truth. It's the truth that we know that makes us free. It doesn't set us free. It makes us free. Continue in the word. Dwell there. Abide there. Eat the word. Meditate on this scripture. Let God so cause it to come alive in your spirit that you'll be prosperous, that you'll have good success, and whatever you set your hand to do, it will prosper. God bless you. Catch you next time.